Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in ZBrush. Well, what are we doing today? Uh, hopefully, I'm going to make your life a whole lot easier because I'm going to explain to you guys what macros are, how you create them and how you use them. Now, think of a macro as a recording, not a screen recording, but it records steps. So if there are certain things that you do each and every time you start ZBrush, it will basically uh, remember that for you and automate that process, right? So uh, to give you an idea, uh, let's go back and set this to uh, something like that, right? Okay, let's say I do my typical routine as I start sculpting in 3D. Well, what I would do is I would go up to the top screen, go to macro and click on new macro. Um, it's going to fully initialize, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to click on no. Now you can see up here it says micro recording activated. It's not recording my voice or anything like that. It's literally recording program steps, right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to document because I want it to be bigger. And I'm, I have this selected, the auto fit. I'm going to click on new document. It will make that space bigger, right? Second thing I'm going to do, because I don't work in 2.5D in ZBrush, is I'll go up to this guy right here, take the polygon sphere, pull that out, hit F to frame it. Actually, it doesn't work that way just yet because I have to make it 3D first. It doesn't matter. I'm going to click on edit or hit T, right, to make it editable. Uh, then I can go to initialize, but I wouldn't do that because that would be too specific. But what I do need to do is make Polymesh 3D, right? Now it's Polymesh 3D. And then finally, I'm going to hit F to frame it. Let's say this is something I do each and every time. Now I'm going to go back up to macro and I'm going to click on end macro. And it's going to say, okay, where do you want to put it? Well, I'm going to open this folder here, right? And I'm going to call this start 3D. Okay. And let's save that. It's going to ask something about splitting levels. No, don't want to do that. Forget about it. All right. So now that whole process should be automated and we'll see if that's the case. So I'm going to go up to preferences, initialize ZBrush to start from scratch. Uh, let's see, do I want to fully initialize? Yeah, I do. All right. And just for argument's sake, we're going to make that document small again, just to see if that works. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my macro or yeah. And here you go, my macro. And if I open that, start 3D. Let's see what happens. Screen's bigger, sphere's created, and I can start sculpting straight off. So that's how macros work. That's how you create them and that's how you use them. I hope it was a useful video. If so, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit subscribe if you haven't done it just yet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.